Hey guys, it's Aaron from the Best Family Homestead. So, Rescue Kitty isn't feeling too awful well. Um, I think he's a little bit dehydrated. We've been giving him fluids and stuff. But, just not wanting to perk up quite like I would hope. So, we're here at the vet. And we're going to see if I can get him some fluids. And uh, get him taken care of. So, I just want to give you guys an update on that. And as soon as the vet season... And we have an update. I'm going to let you guys know. I think he'll be fine. I think he just needs an IV. Um, needs a little bit of fluids after being up in that roof for a day or so. Um, probably just a little dehydrated. So we're going to get him seen and get him taken care of. Hopefully he makes it and is okay. Uh, sometimes animals do die on a homestead and it's very sad. But my belief is giving every animal their best shot... I'm going to give him everything I can to make sure he he uh, has a good chance at, at getting bigger. Well, good news. Uh, Doc just came and brought this one back, and he said it seemed to be doing okay. So, luckily, he said just keep doing what we're doing. We're going to keep giving it electrolytes and feeding it. Um, it should perk back up. I mean, it's doing a lot better this evening than it was this morning. Uh, we kind of decided to bring it this morning because uh, to the vet this afternoon... Just because it was a little lethargic and not doing good. But, Doc said it's doing alright. So, we're going to take it home and feed it some more kitten milk. I just got some good kitten milk here at the vet. So, good news. Good news for this one. Alright guys. I got a little bit here. I got some uh, good kitten formula from the vet. Try and help this little guy out. I'm going to set him down here. I want to show you guys a trick while we're working on this. Now this formula, this formula is not cheap. Uh, this is about $8 a can. But I wanted to, you know, make sure and give this little dude his best shot. So, me and how is we have lots of random, wayward, lost and unwanted uh, critters around here. <clears throat> Want to show you guys what you can do. This stuff's only really good for 48 hours. Um, once it's opened, but to keep from wasting the whole can, because this little bitty kitten is not going to be able to drink this can in a few weeks. So what I'm going to do is I'm putting it. I hope you guys see here. Putting it in the baggie. Right? I'm gonna get the air out. So I'm gonna split this can up in three or four different baggies like this. I'm gonna put it in the freezer. Once it's in the freezer, it's gonna be good pretty much indefinitely. Uh, so I can use this little bit I just put in this cup to, to warm up for him. I'll be able to use that for 48 hours. Uh, I'm hoping after 48 hours, this dude's in good shape. But then the next wayward loss and unwanted kitten we have, which I promise there will be one. Instead of having to get another can of formula, all I have to do is pull out one of these little bags out of the freezer. I'm going to put it in deep freezer in the garage. And I've got formula. So just one of those little homesteading tricks. A way to save a little bit of money, whether you're homesteading or not. If you have animals or rescue animals or, you know, uh, anything. Just something to save some money. You might want more. You can squeeze it out faster. I don't want to, like, drown it. No, I want to. He's hungry. I know. Yeah, so this will be the last one, obviously. No. Crush is just fine. <laughs> you can see he is, uh, mama's feeding him good. He wouldn't take any bottle. And he is jumping around being a nut bucket. Come um, baby. Bah. So... 
I just want to do one last follow up with him and show you guys that his feet are fixed and he is a little pistol and ow, that's my nose. Um, yeah, he's all good. He's so you. there he is. He's uh, not a house goat, but he Aww. he does enjoy being spoiled and coming in here. He took a nap earlier with me. And uh, yes, he, he, he did sleep with uh, my wife on the couch for a couple hours. He's definitely a goat, likes to chew. He's only started eating my workout papers and then put them outside. So he's a goober. So here's Crush, guys. He's gonna be fine, uh, obviously. <laughs> uh, apparently that's super tasty. Um, typical baby goat. This weekend we'll try and get their little goaty playground built. No worries. And show you guys that. So appreciate y'all watching. Hey guys, it's Aaron, and everybody calls her Miss Aaron. No. Uh, but this is Carrie from the Best Family Homestead. This is Rafter. Uh, had some arguments. Okay. Had some arguments yeah. about his name. But I think Rafter fits. No, and that's uh, what the vet said. So uh, his name's Rafter. You can see, uh, or she is doing amazing. Eating kid milk. Uh, the vet said, you know, super healthy. So, on this update, this is day three after we got uh, got her out of the rafters. She's also been eating on mama. Um, I'm mama, somebody's mama. <laughs> and Not her mama. Just it's just 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 doing phenomenal. So I think I think she's going to do just fine. Uh, I know a lot of people said, oh, that baby's younger than what well, we said, you know, five weeks. But we know when it was I know for a fact that. It's the same litter uh, that because we had them in a box on the porch. Somebody had dropped the pregnant it's mama off. This one. Um, so I know it's five weeks old. It's just yeah, a little bit behind, somebody. and that's what the vet said. Go uh, just somebody. just a little bit behind. Um, so it, it so you know it is, and it was eating uh, with its siblings a little bit this of hard a, food. This one's a sibling right there. Uh, and and they're chowing down, but I just want wanted everybody to see, uh, you know. Nice to have a good story. You're a happy ending to a story. I mean, this thing is all over the milk. Uh, can we see if it'll lap some up from the bowl? I, it don't, might. I don't think it wants to. No, not quite yet? No, it likes this a lot. It's a lazy kitty. Uh, it knows that it's <laughs> much easier to get, you know. Well, it's getting sleepy, <laughs> look at it. It's tired. But it's doing great. We, we have been worried it was head bobbing. We thought it was dehydrated. Bet said it was good. Um, got the good kitty formula, uh, doing actually phenomenal. Um, I know uh, there have been some comments, and since I am trying to teach people uh, some stuff on this channel, we've been dealing with these rescue kitties for quite a long time now. Uh, some people were saying something about lactose intolerance and stuff with uh, cow milk and goat yeah, milk. Cow. Now, cow milk, like especially cow milk you get from you know the store, two percent, even whole milk is pasteurized. Um, Goat milk, organic goat milk, uh, is absolutely fine. It's actually, uh, unless you get the canned, really high dollar kitten formula, the goat milk is is really actually the easy. That was just fine. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the goat milk is oh. easy for them to digest. Um, the vet that we use, Valley Vet, up in Pine Mountain, Georgia, they're, they're phenomenal. Um, and he just brought me a can of the kitten milk uh, and gave it to me because uh, we have a lot of animals we take He's up so there. Hungry. So he's slowing down. She's slowing down now. Yeah, she's definitely he's slowing tired. down. And she's getting tired. He's Eyes closing. Tired. So just wanted to give y'all another update and that's it for tonight, huh? I think after this one, uh I think just like with uh Crush, um hey, you know, two happy stories. Uh Crush the goatee is doing great. Raptor is doing great. All the other nut buckets are doing great, and so it's going to be time to start working with our local animal shelter and SPCAs, which we work with, get uh, getting these guys home. fixed and finding great homes. Yes. And we always double check and make sure it's going to be good homes they go to. And as soon as we get everything spayed and neutered, uh, here's going to come another box of kittens and two or three more cats that get dropped off uh, pregnant, and we'll start all over. Where's but look at mustache, Kayla. Get mustache. This is the best family homestead for the. 
so everything's doing great and you know as soon as we get all these guys spayed fixed and neutered we're gonna have more dropped off here at the house which is fine that's what we do this is the best family homestead for the wayward lost and unwanted which uh kind of includes some of these things oh, over here and uh kind of some of these things he, he pretends to be big and tough he pretends to be 18 years old going to ford institute of technology and look at him sitting there with that baby kitty he's just That's the best baby kitty yeah oh, look at that, one. that is uh that is this one's ridiculous you gotta see it calico boop it I'm is uh this one right now. that thing is ridiculous Dad, absolutely Dad. ridiculous Dad. Look at this one. This one's just yeah. Well, you can tell uh, a bunch of animal loving people to a fault around here, but the best thing about them is they love you unconditionally no matter what. And so we do our best to take care of them. You got funny things. Yeah, look at Rafter. Rafter is. Raptor is done. Full. I think its name should be <laughs> Eeyore. No. no, he's not Eeyore. It's, it's got puppy belly. She's a raptor. And she has puppy belly. She's a raptor. All right, guys. Uh, if you like like this video and want to see more like it, please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.